Are we ready to do some real talk? If you might have noticed before on Twitter at 21 Wolf, and also if you did um, are following Mr. Hef Wins um, or Hefinator is on the, on the Twitters. I don't even. How did it even start? Where did where did it even start? I'm trying to compose a thought of when it um. When the whole when the whole talk initially started, we we've, we've all talked about it in chat, online, offline, the same respects. So now this is after a couple weeks after Twitch's upgrade across the board for their video system. Yeah, the, yeah, subtweeting, the subtweeting. Yeah, and then George came in. The whole, the whole thing went, 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 went full. Uh, it went full on rant there. Okay, this is the Twitch. I want to make a highlight of this. I hope this gets shared out by as many viewers, casters, lovers of Twitch across the board. This is just. A voice of concern. You need to fix your system. What you did across the board for Twitch was bad. If you did a global survey, I don't give a shit about your charts or your your graphs and your little doohickey thingies. Send a global message across everybody in Twitch. You do that for all of your like other surveys and um, tournaments, things that you want to promote, things of that sort. But if you actually want feedback from, I don't know, the casters themselves or even the viewers, you might get actual feedback as far as how far or how worse your system has gotten. In the two and a half years that I broadcast on Twitch, even Justin TV before that, exactly what I said on to the admin George, who's awesome. No hate towards any admin or moderator of Twitch. No hate should be brought to that, should ever be brought to that level. Just want to make that first, foremost, and clear. We're just voicing our concern. So no hate at all. In the two plus years that have live streamed, especially as a caster and a lover of Twitch and a viewer, I have never buffered in my entire life of watching on Twitch one single time. No little stupid swirly mark right here, which might happen, and I hope it does, and somebody screenshots it and send it to me, because that would be freaking hilarious. That little swirly mark is not a live stream. That becomes more of a video. Now, if we wanted to do you if we wanted to do videos, we'd go to YouTube. We could also live stream on YouTube. But the reason why we don't live stream on YouTube is because they have live comments. Now, having live comments is kind of like your system right now, where there is a 30 plus second delay between when we talk and everybody in chat watches it. Now, beforehand, the delay was anywhere between 8 to 10 to 12 seconds if you're on if you're on PC and then greater on mobile. We understand that because it's on mobile. We all got used to that. But then to up to upgrade the entire system across the board. And now everyone basically has mobile plus 30 second plus delay. I don't even know if it's even greater on mobile, because I don't, I don't honestly use it too often, but I, I watch it all the time on my PC or laptop. I've swirlied, buffered more times in the past since you upgraded than the one time ever on Twitch in the past two and a half years. Us as viewers... And casters, we know the difference between buffering 
and a delay. Okay? We're not stupid. All of us understand that. Now this is where I'm trying to I'm trying to recompose my thoughts. When you add more of a delay to a live stream, it affects all of us, and especially what Half said on Twitter is that it greatly hurts smaller casters that want to be up and coming. The reaction changes. Your dynamic in conversation changes across the board. Now, granted, there's some bigger casts that you don't technically need to watch the chat. And that happens for bigger tournaments and stuff like that where the casters are not going to be hawking over chat and wanting to actually interact with everybody. Like, that's the point of a live stream. It's, it's live. If you wanted, if we wanted to do a, if you wanted to do a delay, we put it in OBS or XSplit or whatever broadcasting software you want to use. We put the delay in ourselves because that should be the option. The option for a live stream is that it should be instantaneous. And I don't know if I was a part of staff of Twitch or anywhere high up in Twitch, that would probably be my mission: is to deliver content as fast as I humanly possibly can. Now, according to what I've said on, on the Twitters for the new HLS system that you guys upgraded to, should technically take anywhere between five to 10 seconds. So a view from my ends, and this is the other part of it is that if I upgrade my processor, my, my graphics processor, it doesn't warm up to be faster. It's instantaneously faster. So whoever, whatever tech people you have working on the back ends should probably be fired. You should rehire, I don't know, maybe a consulting team to redo everything. It doesn't warm up. It doesn't groove into it going faster. It's faster now if there was an issue you should probably did a lot more beta testing be before you globally butchered the site just saying <laughs> like that's ridiculous that's that's no excuse at all by any tech means in any sense of the word i don't upgrade my shit and it doesn't warm up to it it goes. It's it's like technology should be. It's it's instantaneous. If you upgraded all, all of your stuff and all of a sudden everything got drastically slower, you did something wrong. You did something drastically wrong. So I hope across the board that this highlight or if it gets uploaded to YouTube or wherever it might be, gets shared across everybody and especially to everybody across Twitch. Because we're tired of it. We are. You can give out as many charts as you possibly can want. Give out a global survey across the board. Even if it was just to the caches alone. And I guarantee you that everyone would have the same response. The delay kills the live stream. Now, the only reason why we're doing this is because we love Twitch. That's why we're here. If we didn't like this enough, we'd go somewhere else. And I'm pretty sure a mass of us would do the same. Now, is that a threat? Take it as you want. But there are other options out there. But the reason why we're here is because we love your platform. And we don't want to change that. We want to see you succeed. And what you and what you've built so far and we basically don't want you to pull a Google a Google Plus or a dig have a dig effect we don't want you to do that we're we want you to see we, 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 we want you, we want you to succeed to make this a better place
I think that's everything. Thank you everyone again for listening to one person's voice. Again, don't send any hate to any admin, to any moderator, to any staff member. Be constructive at any given time with the utmost respect. But if we speak in a collective, a pack, together, I hope we can make a difference. My name is Wolf21. As a part of a caster and a viewer, a lover of Twitch, I hope this gets out there. Thank you for listening. I appreciate your time and your awesomeness. Let's get back to some gaming.